all right how's it going guys so today's video is going to be a little bit different um i wanted to make a short tutorial on how to configure your uh ps4 controller properly to your windows 10 computer um so there won't be an intro today or anything like that um for those of you who are having issues uh with the controller and pcxr on your computer uh this this uh, tutorial will be mainly focused on how to do that specifically. Um, for those of you who don't have PCXR downloaded to your computer and who don't know, PCXR is just an emulator that downloads, I mean, that emulates PlayStation 1 games. You can play PlayStation 1 games. So I will be going through the whole process on how to download and set everything up for PCXR for those of you who don't have it. Um, I have scoured the internet. To try and find information on this and there doesn't seem to be much on how to do it with windows 10 unfortunately um but i did find a solution for me that worked for me hopefully it works for you guys um but yeah for those of you who do have pcx downloaded to their computer already as it is i will timestamp the video so that way you can skip to the part that's applicable to you uh but yeah hopefully you guys find value in this video all right for those of you who don't have PCX are downloaded to your computer already as it is what you want to do is you want to go to the description box below and in the description box there's a link that takes you to the PCX R emulator once you click that link it'll take you to a page that looks like this it should say emulatorzone.com and at the very bottom you'll see a download link that says PCX reloaded once you click that link you'll download a PCXR win file and then we can minimize that for now um, it should download directly to your downloads folder um, I already have it downloaded onto my desktop I'll just show you PCXR win you can put it wherever you want whatever works for you I have it on my desktop just for ease of access do whatever works for you all right but once you download it, you should see a file that looks like this all right so what you want to do next is you want to right click and go to extract here. Now you might have a different extraction program. You might have one RER. I have 7-zip. It doesn't matter. It doesn't make a difference. All right. So click extract here and you'll get a folder that looks like this. And then you're going to want to open the folder. And inside you'll see a bunch of other folders like this. The two that we're going to be using today to do this whole process will be the plugins folder and the BIOS folder. All right. So next thing I want you to do is I want you to go back to the, the description box below and click the BIOS link. It should uh, download directly to your computer. Once it does that, it should go to your downloads folder. I have it downloaded already. Uh, right here. You can put it wherever you want, whatever works for you. I have it on my desktop just for ease of access. Do whatever works for you. All right. <laughs> so what I want you to do is uh, right click extract here and you should get another file that looks like this now take that file drag it into the BIOS folder and once you open it it should look like this all right now we should be able to launch PCS PCS should be able to launch PCS uh, XR after that and it should work fine all right all right so the next thing I want you to do is to connect your PlayStation 4 controller all right so the uh, disclaimer for this video um, this video will be how to do do the configuration with a wire with a USB to micro USB cable it's a wired connection. Um, I haven't figured out how to do it with a wireless connection. I keep running into issues and I haven't figured out how to fix those issues yet. So just to, as a disclaimer, that's what this is. All right. Now, what I, obviously, you're going to need um, a, a micro USB to USB cable and a PlayStation 4 controller. So what you want to do is you want to plug in the USB into your computer and then take the micro USB portion and then plug it into the back of your PS4 as such let it do its thing configure and everything and see it's connecting 
All right, so once it connects and everything and it's done with its setup process, I want you to come here to this little search bar at the bottom and then type in set up USB game controllers. Click that and this little window will pop up. Now, this is only just to make sure that your computer is detecting the controller and making sure that everything is working properly. Um, nothing more than that. Uh, if you don't see this pop up on in the window, then it probably means that your cord is no good or your PlayStation 4 controller is no good. So just make sure you keep an eye out for that. But as you can see here, it looks like my computer is detecting it. It says wireless controller. And then you want to just go to properties and then just start hitting buttons just to make sure everything is working properly. Everything is working fine. And then just hit OK and then hit OK. All right. Now, the next thing I want you to do. Um, OK, well, let me show you this. When you go to when you launch PCSX, if you go to the configuration and you go down to controllers, if you you might have noticed if you're having an issue with this, that um, if you try to map the buttons to your controller, the controller is not picking up the uh, picking up the, the map, the mapping signals, whatever. Um, even though your computer is detecting the controller, it's not working properly. So what you want to do, and even if you go to the plugin section, there's nothing here to map the controller with. So what you want to do is you want to go to the description box below, hit the link to the LilyPads plugin. It's a plugin that we that you're going to need to um, uh, configure your PlayStation 4 controller. So once you hit that link below, it'll take you to a page that looks like this. It'll say emulationrealm.net, and at the very bottom you'll see a download link. And then once you click it, you'll download the LilyPad plugin. And once you go to downloads, you'll see LilyPad new downloads folder. That's all you need. Minimize that. All right. So I have it downloaded already on my desktop. You can put it wherever you want, whatever works for you. I have it on my desktop just for ease of access. All right. All right. So now go ahead and right click, go to extract here, and you'll see another file that looks like this. Now you just want to take that, put it into your plugins folder. Make sure it's there. There it is, LilyPad. All right. So now, as far as setting up PCSX and the plugins and everything, you should be fine. You should be good to go. So now, what you want to do is go back to PCSX. And now, if you're having issues um, trying to map your controller and the plugins aren't reading, then it probably means that you did not close out PCSX to let the plugin install. So really simple. If you want to fix that issue, just go ahead and close out PCSX and then relaunch it and it should install successfully. All right. So next thing you want to do is you want to go to configuration, go to plugins and BIOS, and then where it says first controller here, go to that drop down menu click LilyPad 0.10 and then hit configure. Once you do that, this screen will pop up and then you go to the very bottom where it says device diagnostics. You want to scroll down until you see DX wireless controller. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to test it out to make sure that the program is detecting the controller and everything properly. So. You can either highlight it and press test device or you can double click it. I'll double click it and then you just move everything around, make sure everything is working properly. It's working fine. Okay. All right. And then you want to go to pad one and then you want to start mapping your buttons. So go ahead and start mapping the buttons square. All right, so I went ahead and I apply, I mapped all of the buttons to the controller. So what you want to do next is just hit apply and then okay. And then just hit okay. And everything should be set up. Now, what you want to do is just you want to test it out and make sure that everything is working properly. So you can just launch whatever ISO file that you have, whatever game you have on PCSX or um, 
I have Legend of Dragoon, so I'll just launch that. And right away, you'll see that the buttons and the controller works perfectly fine. The pad works. X works. Circle works. Everything works fine. So, that's it. That's my tutorial on how to um, on how to configure your PlayStation 4 controller with PCXR. Let me go ahead and get out of here. That's it, guys. That's all I have for you. Um, hopefully, this video worked for you. Uh, hopefully, you found value in this. Um, if you have any more issues, just leave a uh, comment in the comment section. I'll do what I can to try and help you out, and and you know maybe do some more research to see if I can't, you know, find a solution uh, to the best of my ability. Um, if it did work for you, just let me know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't really have anything else to say about this topic. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Just make sure you like, share, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section, hit that notification bell, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.